In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best method to get room 100 in the chest raid in Pet Simulator 99. So yeah, inside of the most recent update, we went ahead and got the addition of the chest raid right here, which is actually a pretty cool event, which actually does, as you can see, has a chance to give you both of these huges right here. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best strategy to actually reach room 100 or as far as you can go inside of the game. Yeah, make sure you guys watch the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now so yeah there actually is a few strategies i'm going to be showing you guys and yeah there is, is actually a few to make sure you guys are paying attention to all of them so yeah the first one i would recommend is if you guys can't open up this egg right here i would op only open it just to go ahead and get this good versus evil dragon if we scroll down as you can see this pet has 15 trillion stats if you can actually get this thing so yeah you want to try and at least get these rainbow shiny if you can't get the rainbow shiny at least the rainbow itself will be completely fine so it still does decent damage but yeah you want to go ahead and get a good stat pet that's the first thing you're gonna go ahead and need the second thing that is probably gonna help a lot more is than some of you guys if you do not have them is having huge pets on your team and yeah as you can see i have an entire team full of rainbow huges and then three titanic so as you can see my team is pretty good i don't expect your guys's team to be as good as mine but even if you at least have huges or exclusive pets you'll still be able to do some pretty decent damage so yeah moving on from the pets we're going to the items there isn't really much you can do except for you want to make sure you have all the fruits eaten at least the rainbow fruit and the apple fruit because this increases damage and this one will also increase damage if you max it out. So yeah, pretty beneficial to eat the fruits and then moving on to the potions, obviously you want to make sure you have your damage potion going. And then alongside your damage potion, if you also do have some extra gems to spend, I would suggest buying the cocktail potion because it does an extra 100% damage and also increases your walk speed a bit as well. So yeah, as you can see, this thing is actually definitely pretty strong and yeah, moving on to probably the most important thing out of all the tips is the enchants. And yeah, as you can see, this is the setup I have found to be most helpful for me, but before I actually do this next area, or not the area, the chest raid, I need to go ahead and go back to the void and do something really quick, and you guys should also be doing it as well, and that is actually empowering your enchant, so I'm gonna go ahead and empower a couple of these really quick so we can go ahead and get enough, and then we should be good. See, so yeah, we need to go ahead and do one critical, I did a strong pet, and the last thing we need is a tap power, and there we go, I think we should be good now. Okay, hold on, I need one more strong pet pets book i need to empower there we go and yeah now this is my final enchant loadout i'm going to be using so yeah as you can see i have a corruption i definitely suggest you guys get the corruption because it's very helpful on breaking the chest basically once you get start getting chests that have a lot of health and start taking longer to destroy you could actually have a chance to put corruption on it and will basically double or triple your damage you do to the chest so it's very helpful to use so yeah this is definitely a pretty essential to have in terms of doing the chest raid the next thing is a super magnet book and then i have two strong pets nine books that are also in power but to be honest i believe i'm passing the cap that actually is allowed for these strong pets but i haven't been able to find anything else to replace it with so i've kind of just had two of them on if you guys can find something better to replace this second strong pets book with let me know in the comments down below because i'd be pretty curious but for now i think i'm gonna go ahead and just replace it with a nightmare orb to see if maybe that will help i'm not sure if it will much but yeah next we have an angelic enchant right here which is this is actually my first time using it i've never used this before so we're gonna see if this actually helps us out at all or not as well and yeah what it basically does is it has a chance to strike breakables with an angelic justice doing more damage with every strike so yeah hopefully this does apply to the chest i think we'll figure out because it should sh show the strikes actually happening in front of our faces so yeah hopefully we can see that the next thing you absolutely need to have in your enchant loadout is the chest breaker enchant and that is because as you can see it increases your damage you deal to chest by 200 percent and yeah every item inside the chest rate is obviously a chest so you're gonna need to go ahead and do that and yeah moving on we have a criticals nine this empower which you should obviously get that and then next we have a fruity which basically just increases the fruit or the fruits of your power by 25 percent but they also expi expire twice as fast so yeah this should help me a little bit in doing some more damage as well which is pretty nice and then moving on we have a tap power nine empowered and this should be extremely helpful to me because i think tapping is actually very helpful to do for defeating the chest so yeah i definitely suggest you guys get the tap power and if you can empower it that would be even better and then yeah the final enchant obviously is the nightmare orb as you can see and this is the completed loadout that i am using so yeah we're gonna go ahead and see if this works with literally everything we have all the boosts active we have all the ultimates 
all the best potions going and yeah we have a pretty decent pet team so we're gonna see once this thing is available in 30 seconds how far we can actually get and yeah i'm really hoping we can go ahead and get to 100 that would be pretty nice but yeah i believe my record in the chest room is like room 85 or something so hopefully we can go ahead and get past that and yeah the room is about to open and there we go so yeah we have to wait a minute and 50 seconds so i'll come back once this is done and uh, we'll see how far we can get all right we do have 20 seconds left until the raid is about to start and i also want to go ahead and mention one more thing is before you guys or while you guys are doing this raid i definitely suggest you guys do get an auto clicker and put it to one millisecond or as fast as you can use it to click because an auto clicker is definitely very helpful to use and yeah this event is about to start in one second and there we go so yeah i'll go ahead and run through this event and let's see how far we can actually get i believe for these first few i'm gonna have to just keep running through because we are destroying these things way too quickly as you can see this is actually insane so yeah we're gonna go and see what room we can get to hopefully i can beat my record at least of 85 but yeah, it would definitely be nice if I could reach 100 because that would be a pretty cool goal. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grind this chest room and I guess we'll see how far we can actually get. Alright, we are making some pretty good progress. It has only been not even 3 minutes, and we are already almost at room 50, so I think we should hopefully be able to beat our record. And yeah, it's definitely going to be close, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So we're going to see how close we can actually get to at least room 85. If we can knock it to 100, that would be pretty sad. Alright, it's been 5 minutes and we are at room number 66, so let's see if we can at least break the record. Alright, I think we should hopefully have enough time to beat the record. We are at room 76 and we still have over 3 minutes left. Alright, we are at room 84, we are getting pretty close. And yeah, there we go, here is 85 and we still have some time left. So yeah, I guess let's go ahead and just continue moving and see how close we get. Alright, we are on room number 90, we have 30 seconds left, let's see how far we can get. Or we have 10 seconds left and we are at room 92, I don't think we're gonna be able to get this unless we get a corruption, maybe? And yeah, we did not get any corruption, so it seems like 92 was our record. And yeah, there we go, we got completed room 92 and broke 393 chest so i guess i'll definitely take that way better than my previous record at 85 but yeah definitely pretty unfortunate we didn't get to 100 but yeah with these strategies i was easily able to destroy my previous record so yeah i definitely suggest you guys take the tips that i showed you guys in this video and apply them to your team so you guys can also reach some pretty far level but yeah pretty much is everything for the video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs i really appreciate if you guys subscribe and yeah thank you boys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one